What's going on, everyone? How's everyone doing? I know it's kind of late. I just want to get this quick uh, prediction video out real quick. As you know, it's WrestleMania weekend here in the Garden State coming up, so I'm kind of excited. But unfortunately, I hate to tell you this, I'm not going to be going to WrestleMania because as much as I really, really want to go. But of course, there's two reasons why I don't, I'm not going to go to WrestleMania. One is I already have a planned stacked weekend uh, in the books because um, Saturday I'm going, I actually, I'm actually going to go into the city. But for, for a couple of different reasons, but it's not going to be for the Hall of Fame ceremony. And number two, um... Uh, for for those of you that have been to WrestleMania twenty nine nine uh, many years ago, um, MetLife is a nightmare to to actually find to actually tailgate and of course to get out of because I've been to a few concerts and football games in the past and it is an absolute nightmare to get home. Not to mention so at, factor in all that and the fact that this is a cold air state and it might get a little cold. Uh, come WrestleMania, ju just saying. But I hope it. But I hope it changes. Okay. But anyway, besides that, but I will do. But I will actually watch the show from my home. I might do a live stream. Not too sh sure. I like I said, I got a lot planned going on this entire weekend. Okay. But first, enough my, about my personal life. Uh, I just I, I just want to get out my quick prediction video. It's for uh, Takeover on Friday, which is a first. So uh, so that's gonna be amazing. And then of course the sh main show Sunday and. At MetLife, which yeah, so uh, for anybody going, ha enjoy. But anyway, let's talk about um, NXT Takeover New York, or, or we can just call this. How about this NXT Takeover Brooklyn Five? You can't think about it because it's in the freaking Barclays Center. But anyway, holy shit, I'm actually really excited for this uh, uh, sh show. Uh, let's see. What first? Um, it's all, pretty much no no filler matches. It's all title matches, which is good. So yay, champions extravaganza. Let let uh, let it rain gold. But anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, we have uh, the Warriors versus Ricochet and Aleister Black for the tag team titles. So let's see. Uh, pretty much the one of the few matches with the less, how we say, less build because of these two were swept together at the la you know last minute. You know they became a team in the Dusty Classic. Congratulations to them. And of course, uh, now they got this cool opportunity to fight the War Raiders. So, hate to say this, but I feel like the War Raiders are going to retain the belt because, um, because I feel like it's too soon to have the War Raiders drop the belts. Not to mention they haven't been really seen on television. So I'm like, that's another thing. I was like, wait, we're focusing all our efforts on all these other things, but we're not focusing on the tag team, tag team champions. We're not, they didn't even have a single match. I'm like, what the shit. And maybe they'll have us have a match uh, tomorrow night on uh, on NXT television. We don't know. But anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm, my pick here is definitely the Warriors. And now let's see. Uh, let's talk about the women's uh, uh, championship four way match. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be exciting. I lo love three out of the four competitors. I'm really hating Shayna Baszler. Okay, she is really acting like an absolute bully. She's acting like how he says. Like that image, that like that out of control girl that just wants the attention. If that makes sense, it's like it's like, hey, look at me! I'm beating shit and people up. I'm I'm the queen here, around here. God damn it! Shut up, Shayna. Shayna. And for more, I'm I'm really really I'm can't stand it. Okay, so um, there's so many other options in this match. So I'm thinking, huh, who who is gonna be next? Party wants to see Kyrie Singh become a champion again, become a two time champion. So that would be great. Oh. But another part of me wants to see Io Shirai come in. Then maybe, maybe see like a, a friend or foe feud, feud between her and Kyrie Sane. Uh, let's see. Bianca Belair? Not just yet, but maybe. Just maybe. But hey, maybe may they'll pull a rabbit out of their hat. May, have, may just have her win the belt and expect, expect and That would be awesome. Okay? Who knows? But hey, uh... Uh, my my pick is I'm gonna I'm kind of split, but I'm, I'm part of me is gonna go with Eo. All right, on this one. All right, now for the one match I'm actually really really excited for, and that is Walter versus Pete Dunne for the NXT UK Championship. Holy hot damn, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> but anyway, yes, the Bruiserweight versus Walter, and Jesus Christ, I have seen Walter strikes. Good God Almighty above, I am really glad I do not wrestle. 
anymore. Oh my God, this was if this was eight and several years ago, if I was in tip top shape, and if I had wrestled this guy, I'd probably be feared for my life because he could slap the shit at you like shot or chop you as crazy. And of course, especially with me with my pale skin, God, he that will hurt. But goodness me. Uh, I hope I hope Pete Dunn knows what he's getting himself into. This guy is a freaking beast. So, and of course, I hate to break the news to you, but I feel like this long ass range might be coming to an end. But I just want to see this match go out in a place of glory. Sorry, Pete Dunn, you're you're great. You're a great talent. You're you're a great champion. But I feel like uh, Walter's gonna gonna win the belt, and maybe I hope they they take him and move him on to be, 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 great greater things. Hopefully on the main roster. Hope hey hey if they make, put him on a future run for the for the WWE Championship or Universal Championship, that'd be cool. Hey, that'd be awesome. Might, might as well reenact some something, you know, like like Randy Orton kind of thing. That makes sense. So sorry, Pete Dunn. Uh, then we have the uh, North American Championship: Matt Riddle versus Velveteen Dream. Uh, I'm. I'm, I'm hoping this match also steals the show um, because of how much build there is on this. Well, not much, but I definitely love where they're going with this. So it's going to be Riddle and Velveteen. I uh, hate to say this, but I think Velveteen's going to retain. I hate to say it's Matt Riddle. I think your win streak is going to come to an end. Sorry, dude. Because I feel like it, cause it's too soon to put a belt on Velveteen. I mean, I mean on Riddle. But then again, again, if Velveteen really want, if they're planning on making Velveteen move up to the main roster, uh, it would be a good, good thing to, to admit for him to drop the belt. But who knows, okay? But I, I hate to say this, Velveteen all the way, all right? As much as I'm not a fan of the character, but he's over his shit. But hey, uh, Velveteen all the way. And of course, the main event, two out of three falls match for the vacant NXT Championship. Uh, Gargano for Sam Cole, baby. Um, can we please finally pull the trigger on Gargano? I want Gargano to freaking win. He totally deserves it. And hell, get this. If he does this, he could be the brand's first ever triple crown champion. Think about that. NXT Tag Team Championship, North American Championship, and the NXT Championship. Holy shit. That would be great. Have him do it. Make it happen. All right? Okay, so that's um, TakeOver. Now let's talk about WrestleMania. There are, my goodness, so many matches signed. What the shit were they thinking? That's another reason why I I dread, even if I did get a ticket to go see the show, is how god how god awful long this show is gonna be. But hey, there are a few matches I definitely want to see. Uh, Roman Reigns and Drew Drew McIntyre. I almost called him Drew Galloway. Shoot me for that one, because hey, Reigns is come, Reigns is back. Can he still roll with the punches? Despite you know after his uh, leukemia thing, he, leukemia being in remission, so. I'm kind of, I kind of want to see see how it works out. I hope it's not like just like a like a freaking squash. Just make it actually like an actual full length match. Okay, do something with it. Um, another match I'm definitely looking forward to is the uh, is the is the WWE Championship match between Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston. I hope Kingston wins. I want I him to do it because how amazing would that be? And how because Kofi Kingston's been with the company for as long as he has. He's held. Tag Team Championship, you sell the U.S. Championship, you sell all this our, our gold. Finally, can we put the big one on him? Do it. I hope he wins, okay? And imagine what they can do with that. Hell, if the New Day somehow win the Tag Team Championships, which I understand they are booked on the show, uh, I, if that happens, holy shit, the New Day could have all the gold, have all the gold, and supposedly, well, that makes sense. That would be great. So, definitely that one. And of course, uh, the triple threat main event. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Rousey, Flair, Lynch. I'm really hoping for Becky Lynch because she totally deserves it. She's one of my favorite uh, um, women's wrestlers of, t of today because not well, not because she's Irish because I have a have a feel for Irish uh, wrestlers. But of course, the fact that she's she's just over as shit. She I love what they're doing with her. She's kind of like the female St Steve Austin. But of course, hey, say what you want about her. I let's hope for Becky Lynch to win the big one. Hey, make the fans go home happy. Let's just see an incredible women's main event, the first ever women's main event match in WrestleMania history. Okay. So, those are my picks. I want to hear yours, okay? That's us for tonight. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for some more awesome videos.